Santa Margarita Catholic High School places an ex-Canyon Cowboy head coach on administrative leave. Hello, I'm Ryan Haslam with your SCV News Break for Tuesday, January 24th. Former Canyon High football coach Harry Welch is being disciplined by the school he just led to a state championship. Harry Welch has been placed on administrative leave pending Santa Margarita Catholic High School administration and Diocese of Orange review. The review coincides with an investigation by the Orange County Sheriff's Department following an anonymous email. Yes, an anonymous email was sent to the school regarding an incident involving a coach and a student athlete. The anonymous email basically stated that the coach shoved the player. According to the OC Sheriff's Department, the athlete was not injured. No charges have been filed against Welsh. Coming up after the break, a local artist uses his talents to prove it does get better. This is Toyota Today. Smart. Safe. And worry-free. We make SoCal go. Now, lease the all-new Camry, America's best-selling car, for only $249 a month. Or choose low 29 financing for 60 months. And get Toyota Care complimentary maintenance. We make it easy on you. See your Southern California Toyota dealer. SCV home prices did not change in December after hitting a nine-year low in November. The medium price for a single-family home in Santa Clarita remains at $340,000, and sales picked up in December as 217 were sold versus 198 in November. Condo prices rose in December as well for the second consecutive month to nearly $204,000. For the first time in 20 years, there were no deaths reported from whooping cough. In the state of California last year, health officials credited greater awareness of the disease, rapid diagnosis, and treatment and increased vaccination rates for the change. In 2010, 10 infants died from whooping cough, and there were 3,000 diagnosed cases of the disease among California residents. The Kenyan Theatre Guild will open two very different but very entertaining productions this weekend with something for every age group. On Friday, Gypsy, a story about burlesque and a mother's love, opens at 8 p.m. Saturday afternoon, A Little Princess opens. It brings the classic tale of every girl's right to royalty in turn-of-the-century London. It opens as part of the theatre's family season. Both shows play on weekends through February. Now for our weather. Clear skies and a high of 65 degrees today. Tonight's lows are expected in the low 50s in Santa Clarita. Wednesday will be breezy with winds between 15 and 25 miles per hour. You can expect lots of sunshine through the rest of your week and into the weekend with daytime highs in the mid to upper 70s. Dave Caldwell joins us now from Saugus once again for another Foothill League Game of the Week. Tonight, Golden Valley against Saugus. Dave? That's right, Ryan, we're here at Saugus once again, game five of the Foothill League season. The Golden Valley Grizzlies and the Saugus Centurions in boys and girls basketball. Now, I had a chance just a few moments ago to talk with head coach Kent Eaton of the Saugus girls basketball team. The first half is about to end up, about to wind up right now with this game tonight, but there's a difference between the first half of league and the second half of league. The, the league is tough. We got, we got four real good teams in our division. Uh, and first round, obviously, we get to feel for each other, and now we know each other real well. So the second round is definitely going to be competitive, and you can't count anybody out. Yes, we beat West Ranch. Yes, we beat Valencia. That doesn't mean anything. Uh, they're, they're going to be good battles the second round. So the first half of the league season wraps up tonight. All the action, you'll be able to see all the scores and the standings, which really is extremely important at this point in the, in the season on scvnews.com. Ryan? Thanks, Dave. A local artist uses his talents to prove it does get better. For the last 20 years, Santa Clarita-based artist Randy Watkins has painted portraits of movie and music stars and getting the stars to sign them for his personal collection. Watkins is one of 67 artists who have contributed a portrait of talk show host Ellen DeGeneres to the second annual Ellen Art Show. 
to be auctioned off at the Terrell Moore Gallery in downtown Los Angeles on Saturday, January 28th. A portion of the proceeds will benefit the Trevor Project, the leading national organization providing help and suicide prevention services to lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender youth. One, it stops bullying uh, of kids that have decided to come out of the closet. And two, it also provides resources as in a support group that these people can talk to, people that understand what they're going through. For more Santa Clarita News, log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ryan Haslam. Are you all-you-can-eat kind of hungry? Kyoto Seafood Buffet offers an endless feast of your favorite Asian and American cuisine. Sizzling hibachi cooked right in front of your eyes. Fresh, delicious sushi, succulent crab legs, shrimp, oysters, and more. Kyoto Seafood Buffet offers an all-you-can-eat weekday lunch for just $9.99. Not in the mood for seafood? No problem. From steamy chow mein, tangy barbecue chicken, and savory roast, we've got your cravings covered. Visit Kyoto Seafood Buffet in the Big Lot Shopping Center on Soledad Canyon Road.